Hey guys, it's Nolan. Hope you are all well. It's Tuesday, the 10th of May, 2022. Run about quarter to six in the evening here in the UK. Going to run through a few charts of interest. See what you think. If you agree, then keep your eyes on them because there could be some opportunities on the horizon. Um, one chart I'm going to look at straight away is Euro Aussie because this could be setting up for a little move here up into 153. Uh, there is a bullish engulfing candle forming, as you can see on the four hour. Still got 14 minutes to go before it closes. But uh, yeah, a, a bullish engulfing candle off this eight moving average, closing outside of this CTL. If I just show you the CTL here, um, we've got our correction, impulse correction, what looks like the next impulse. Uh, 153 is the target purely because we've got... Uh, resistance here let me just show you on the four hour just go to the left here just over 153 we sound we found a resistance as sellers come in and we might find the same thing again so have a little look at that um to be honest with you if you're going to trade the four hour um bullish engulfing candle the reward to risk isn't there so if you are going to trade it you'd have to obviously look at the four hour as your um time frame to kind of let you know what looks like is going to happen i.e this push to 153 but you may have to drop down into a smaller time frame and look for a smaller pullback and this is just a you know 15 minute as a um as an example um to get into the trade so you're looking for a 15 minute pullback for instance if you're using a 15 minute time frame and then looking for price to push on so you're going to get a smaller uh, amount of risk pips a smaller stop plus and uh, that's really the only way you're going to be able to get in this with a decent reward to risk that's assuming it does actually carry on to 153 up here um, so you know you can have a look at a little 15 minute chart this is uh the 50 moving average 20 and the age you can see the pullback here into the 20 um some numerous pullbacks here into the 20 bit of a deeper pullback here you know you might get something here um you have to see what the market gives you but um that would be certainly something to have a look at um judging by the way this candle is closing there's a, a high probability that will pop into that 153 and test that. Um, nothing setting up on this one at the moment, but certainly one I've got my eye on. It's Kiwi CAD at the bottom of a descending channel. Um, like I say, absolutely no buyers in the market at the moment. Um, probably safest to either uh, let this change cycle on the four hour or the daily. Uh, four hour looks uh, will look like uh, if I just draw this uh, CTL in you'll be looking for a break of this CTL moving averages to start to change over as well we're gapping in separation but with the 8 the black EMA here the 8 above the 20 so what we're looking for is a, a change of cycle we want to start to see higher highs higher lows but uh, yeah, we want those moving averages to cross over. So this was the, the downtrend, and that's very similar to what we've got here with the 8 above the 20. The moving averages cross, they pull back in. Price forms the first higher low, and then we start to move away again. And that would be your entry somewhere in there. If you have a, an entry or a setup according to your, your strategy or your rules. Um, it formed another higher low here, higher low in this zone here, and you can see we're getting higher highs, higher lows. So you're looking for the same thing on on here, basically. So for our, you know what to look for daily, you'd be looking for those daily moving averages to cross over, okay? So you'd be looking for the cross like here, for instance, where we had the eight above the 20, eight above the 20 sorry eight below the 20 in a downtrend then they cross as price starts to move up pulls back into the moving averages and then starts to move away again so the um the disadvantage of that is you're going to have to wait longer for the trade and you might actually only get one trade 
um, you know, if you're looking for the moving averages to cross in the daily and the pullback into the daily, because it's such a small range, it's not a small range, but you've got to think price doesn't have to move that much. You're going to have to wait for the daily moving averages to cross. So that could take, well, let's just say it, it uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 days here to cross from where the actual bottom of the move was. And then there was an extra, you know, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, at least probably three weeks before we got that pullback into the moving averages. So uh, probably going to be easier to look on the smaller time frame for that change of trend. You know, going to a time frame that suits you. Um, but uh, yeah, this is certainly one to keep an eye on as well. Kiwi CAD at the bottom of um, bottom of structure here. As you can see, we can. This was uh, June 21. You know, we can hover around the bottom of the channel for a, a while until we actually see the buyer start to come in. So it's a bit of patience, and this might not even set up this week, who knows, but it's certainly one I'm keeping an eye on. Uh, Euro Swissy, nice, beautiful uptrend at the moment. Um, potentially going to break this high, actually, looking at these candles here. We've got one, two, three uh, bullish candles and a, and a fourth one being produced, bouncing off this um, eight. Uh, sorry, 50 moving average. Um, but I'm actually looking for sales on this, and I'm looking for sales because of the bigger, the bigger time frame. Um, let's just show you something. Uh, we'll go on the weekly actually first. But you know, the weekly is, you know, big weekly down move correction, and we're in another weekly down move and what i see is potentially these lows being tested again and it's something actually i talked about in my last video i think but now it's getting really interesting because we are at the top of this um channel here where we've got what's called an anchor trend line because it acts as support and resistance so it's support here resistance and potentially resistance there so what um, i'm not interested in buys even though this looks like it's gonna maybe test this high maybe even break this high I'm actually just waiting out of this market and I'm waiting for these one hour moving averages to, to cross over and I wanna start seeing lower lows, lower highs. And you know, because we are at the top of this uh, channel, that could be fairly imminent. So keep your eyes on this because this might set up this week. We might start to see something. Um, we've taken a buy on silver literally it triggered about i don't know half an hour ago uh we had a buy limit at 21.5 stops uh at uh 20.9 i think so below the big number 21 just show you on the weekly why um let's move that out of the way why we would want to set uh, a buy limit here well look at these lows Look at these two lows there. The low on this candle here was 21.42. The low on this one was 21.42. 21 um, so we had a buy limit of 21.50. And low on this candle was 21.49. So literally we are triggered in. And we're in a little bit of profit at the moment. We've got targets of... The targets are 23 and 24.5. So not um you know not trying to be too greedy and trying to grab a whole massive move but uh 23 here where we saw resistance as you can see on this daily chart uh, a little bit of a fake out there but 23 and 24 and a half where we got these highs here looking these highs here and that's a 5.55 to 1 trade so um you know if you like that we're at 21.6 at the moment. You've got the option to go live at market if you want to. Um, that's going to be up to you. But that's uh, that's uh, what we've um, pretty much the only trade we've taken today, actually. The markets have been a little, been a little bit funny today. They've not been brilliant and uh, not been too many opportunities. But, you know, this was one that um, this was one that we were we were looking for. So we're going to stay in this one and see what happens as it happens guys before i forget to um mention it uh, there's not a lot of high priority news um this week but look out tomorrow for 
uh, CPI news on USD or from from the United States that could cause some movement and we do have the dollar at uh, resistance overextended it's had a big big bullish move are we going to see those uh, dollar bears come in tomorrow uh, other than that uh, bit of PPI news on Thursday but that's it guys all the rest is medium impact and low impact uh, so look out for that tomorrow um, so like I say we're in silver that is running euro swissy looking for that to start to change trend on the early kiwi cad long way off but i am looking for buyers to come in there euro aussie um bullish engulfing handle there potentially forming four minutes to go uh targets 153 but you'd need to get in on a smaller time frame uh one more thing i wanted to show we've got a resting trade on uh aussie kiwi it's a nice nice uptrend uh, we set this last night actually it was a buy limit at the 50% retracement of this impulse move here um, which coincides right about to where that 20 moving average is you know we've had touches of the 20 moving average there you know a few times here look so we could get that little touch of the 20 moving average trigger us in and then we start to push up targets are the minus 27% fib extension and the minus 61.8 percent fib extension if you don't know how to draw fibs you you get your fib retracement tool and you draw it in an uptrend from the start of the impulse to the end of the impulse well the start of this little move here okay we have a we have an impulse here we have a correction we have an impulse so the impulse started here look at the bottom and it ended here at the top so you draw the fib as such okay and anything below here is a retracement level. We're looking for price to bounce or react off one of those. And the minus 27 and the minus 61.8 are potential targets. The minus 27 being the first one. Um, so we have interacted with the 38.2, but I am looking for, because I'm going for a buy limit, it's a little bit more risky than a buy stop. Um, I really want that deeper correction into, a, into that 20 moving average. 50% uh, retracement where I can see a little bit of a cluster of candles here where price found resistance. You can see it broke through but hasn't been retested yet. So I would like to see a retest there and a rejection and then a push north to our target points. So um, yeah, it's just coming up to about three minutes to six of so the four hour candles gonna close on Euro Aussie. See what you think of that. But like I say, you're gonna have to need to go on the smaller time frames. Aussie Kiwi, buy limit at the 50% retracement. Silver, we are in at 21.5. Uh, gold, I'll just point out gold actually. We're not in a gold trade, but we are pretty much at this uh, bullish supportive trend line. So, you know, are we going to see buyers come in here? Um, are we going to see buyers start to come in on gold and silver? Silver's at the level. Uh, gold is at a level as well, level of um, trend line uh, support. So we could start to see uh, buyers on this. Uh, waiting for sellers on US Swiss, waiting for buyers on Kiwi CAD. So quick update today, but um, you know, you know, we're in silver. Potentially a, a trade for you guys on Euro Aussie on a smaller time frame, and um, potential trade there on Aussie Kiwi as well. So I'm going to get this video out to you guys ASAP, and we will see you again in the next video. You take care. Bye.